is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. We are just moments away from what should be an excellent matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Denver Broncos. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action here on Brandon God and Charles Davis. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both wanted to... Here we go. The final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. This will be taken about the 12. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the Red Rifle from TCU. It's Andy Dole. And I'll bet right now it's just one thought in his mind. Win, win the, the game. game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, right? two touchdown passes. Two right touchdown actually. passes. But when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. Now movement already. So a flag down here on our very first play. Ball start. Offense. And yeah, that'll set him back five. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. It's the Pro Bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. Time to roll through the defensive starting lineup for the L.A. Chargers. They've certainly had their struggles against the run at the 30th ranked unit out of 32 teams in the NFL. Stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? <laughs> I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out. Being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people. Put them on the ground. And that is incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one, had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. Orchestrating the offense, the former three-time captain of Michigan State, quarterback Kirk Cousins. And while he won't admit it because his team lost the game, he had some fun in the last one. <laughs> he I threw mean, for over 400 yards. I mean, there's no getting around it. As a QB, yeah, okay. We lost the game, but boy, that felt good flinging it around. Now he's got to figure out how to do the exact same thing, yet turn it into a win. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. 
we get a quick look at the Chargers starting offense. The NFL's comeback player of the year in 2016 is Jordy Nelson. He couldn't duplicate the magic last year with his quarterback Aaron Rodgers on the shelf for a big portion of it due to injuries, but he's still well respected around the league. If you want to run press coverage against him, be prepared for him to run by you. Cousins now. To the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And now for him on the season, that is his 80th catch, and the result is a first down. Now the rookie first rounder from San Diego State. It's Rashad Penny, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. On the defensive side of the ball, here are the starters for Denver. They are the 22nd-ranked unit against the run in the NFL. Stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out. Being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people. Put them on the ground. And it completes it to Jordan Nelson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah, yeah moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on there. Heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. On second down, here's Penny. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, look, oh, man. Allen for the Charger touchdown. Dwayne Allen with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. This will be taken about the 12. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field as we grind toward the end of the season here. And they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league. And big people always end up winning games for you. Now Dalton, and this is caught. First catch by Brandon Marshall. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Now a handoff looking right. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brad, wasn't that long ago that the guy playing that spot was an outside linebacker type of a guy. Now, as a defensive end, how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play? And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll go on the ground. 
And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Dalton here from the gun. Got a man. It's a side in. Lance Kendricks. His first catch good for eight and a first down. with a first and ten. And Matthews has it right side. The numbers for Matthews last week. Six catches, 94 yards, and a score. And the competition gets a little bit tougher here because he's got to go against the number one ranked defense in the NFL against the pass, the latest incarnation of the no-fly zone. Now a handoff running off tackle right. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. They're exactly right. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Second down, Dalton. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Lance Kendricks, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point up and through by Myers. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive helmet. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The numbers for Jordy from last week. Six catches, 96 yards. And I don't know about you, partner, but if anybody ranks me in the top 10 in anything, I'm really happy, and that's exactly where he is now. Number 10 in the league in receiving yards. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Now a first carry for Dial Pumphrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Holding offense. So that one will be accepted. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Incomplete. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. He's going to walk one deep left side here and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. 
What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they'll run it here. And the ball is knocked out. And this is recovered by the Chargers. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Defense. Of course, they had the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. They go play action here on first down. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So one corner in the books on a cold December afternoon. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. To throw, Cousins. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. A first down throw for Cousins. Allen's got it over the middle. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. And give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Second down, Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Now a play fake here on first down. Man open left side, it's Williams. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. The other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy is going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up. 
And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Third down from the gun, Dalton. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to make it fourth down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking... And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Chargers in good field position to start out, first and 10. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. On play action, Cousins. He goes full extension, and he's got it. 23 yards on the play. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissue. Holding <laughs> offense. <laughs> will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment. Defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Cousins fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Off the play fake. Cousins looking for the end zone. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Cousins on third and two. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. And Lambeau will put this one through, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And coming out now, the Broncos. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Holding offense. Go, 
That time the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold him. He's got it to Matthews, complete. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make this a second and long. Second down, Dalton looking. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave him with a third and five. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Complete. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Nice completion there for Andy Dalton. Charles, you worked some of his games when he was at TCU. Now you've worked his games in the NFL. What progression have you seen? I've seen a guy who took over as a freshman in college and got better and better each year. Always added a little bit more to his game, got stronger. But the best part about him is he's always been accurate. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. You might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Dalton on third and goal. And take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Willie Sneed, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Broncos are an extra point away from taking the lead. Partner, remember that old film with Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well. They don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down, here's Cousins. And this is Gabriel on the catch. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. So we get slap happy up here sometimes. It's caught, Humphreys. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a charger first. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up. They get to the end zone real fast. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Penny will try to punch it in. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. From back at the four, here's second and goal.
From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Taylor Gabriel, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. We always admire a guy can go through his progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, that'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Getting ready to go again, here's Andy Dalton marching back onto the field. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly Now, a loose football. The ball comes out, and they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, but, man, I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to dock my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Cousins now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Now Cousins. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking Foster. about jump stuff in your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Here's Dalton, looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. And they'll go on the ground, and he'll power his way up near the 25. It's a gain of four, but they're still looking up here at a tough third and 11. Third down. That's Barber. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we have come upon halftime here in week 17. As now we sit. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. They begin the drive with Pumphrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, that's the desired outcome coming out here in the second half of being able to run the football and establish a little bit of pace and maybe even a bit of dominance at the line of scrimmage. And they want that to continue. Way too early to think about this being ball control time. But the way they're running it, you got to think they may want to continue that and see if they can go ahead and grind their opponents into submission. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Holding offense. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Andy! 
They'll run it now with Pumphrey. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Nine yards on the game there, so from second and 19, now we've got a third and 10. On third down, Cousins. It's caught, Nelson. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. To throw his Cousins. He'll rifle this from deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. That'll bring up second down. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Turns into a nice play. Now Rashad Penny. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. <laughs> I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he's a big factor. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Broncos. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. It's not often that we see big plays end in disaster, and we just absolutely saw it right there. They had something really big cooking on that one. Can you, when, you, when you're down near the goal line like that on a big play, do you get maybe a little too careless or too desperate for the goal line? I think the last part is exactly right. You get desperate for the goal line, and sometimes you get the ball out ahead away from your body, or you're trying to extend to get there, or maybe you're just trying so hard that the ball will come out of your hands. In any event, that's a big opportunity lost. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. The tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? He's got a man open. That's Marshall. Broncos have cut it to within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Okay, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen in today's NFL, they're going to weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have agility. And the way that they can get out in front of a runner and create a space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction, and the runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because it's been blocked so well. Love those misdirection or counter plays, and this one worked really well for a nice piece of yardage. A handoff to Penny. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. He lost two there, and it's third down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed of the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, 
They were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses. And now we're seeing it in the NFL. Those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game. And he's got a first down as well. They go play action here on first down. All incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Big Eddie Goldman there on the tackle. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Cousins from the gun on third. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. The first down throw coming for Dalton. Over the middle, it's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This quarterback now over 300 yards down for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Play action now, Dalton. That was hit and Dalton lost the football. But it looked like fortunately the Broncos able to recover. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? Eight, eight, 300, eight, that means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny, and he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. They're going to run this with a tight end. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves them looking at a fourth down. On is the Chargers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And they'll run it here. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. 
Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching. Welcome back now to Denver. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. And out of the air, Dalton. Now at the right side, it's Rodgers. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. Andy Dalton now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Dalton here from the gun. Caught by Snead over the middle. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 more yards there and another first down. And on the ground they go with the running back. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Dalton throwing on second down. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that's a possible seal this one. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive line. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Tavon Austin, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Broncos are an extra point away from taking the lead. The touchdown was scored by the runner, but the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly, allowed him easy access to the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he's able to get it up close to the 35, but hang on here. Penalty marker down. And this one might be going the other way. Holding. Receiving team. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. Now a play fake here on first down. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver that time, Adam Humphreys. And now it's second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. The Chargers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. Play fake, Cousins. He finds Humphreys. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big gain of 31 on third down. On first and 10, Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yeah, how about such a timing route that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly, just kind of counts on that timing winning. And in this case, the ball was batted away. On second down, Cousins again. In the middle of the 
field. He's got Nelson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Again, it's Cousins. He's got the first down here inside the 30, and he'll be taken down at the 26. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Penny, a first down carry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Again, it's Penny. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense. They were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? And <laughs> Almost by name, Foster, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll be second and goal. After the penalty, it's Penny. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up fourth down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Out of the gun. It's Dalton. It's complete to Snead. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make this a second down. from the gun. Dalton. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Chandler Jones in there to get him. And that's sack number 12 for him on the year. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Well, they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. 
And the Chargers coming out of the field now. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Here's a give to Penny. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Penny. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. On is the Chargers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And Denver getting set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll look to throw. Left side caught by Matthews. Holding. Offense. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just working the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. He'll look to throw. And Matthews makes the grab. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. As he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Back to throw. And a third down pass falls incomplete. Fourth down now defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over exuberant, over excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. But he hits his man, Matthews. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Back to throw. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Holding offense. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace of their play. He's back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A good pickup after the penalty, 12 yards, and it's second down. The spike comes now with just under 40 ticks left. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Big spot, Andy Dalton. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Coverage was excellent downfield. I think he was more throwing that football away than anything else. Yeah, absolutely, because everywhere you looked, they were covered. Sometimes it's better to go ahead and be convinced that there's no place to fit in the football than to go ahead and force it and turn it into a bad play. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. 
And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. They will take the knee here, and they will finish this regular season with a victory. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So for our visitors, they will indeed finish over 500 at 9 and 7. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better than average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they're going to bottom out here to wrap up this very forgettable season at 2 and 14. And it's fair to say wholesale changes will be forthcoming in the very near future. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.